Hi there folks. Now I don't normally make bold statements here on the channel, but today I'm going to. If you watch today's video, if you take on board, say just half of what I'm going to put in front of you, it's going to make you a better trader. You know, over the years, I have read countless books about trading from some of the true market legends. And today I'm basically going to summarize some of the top quotations that have resonated with me over the years. I say, take half of them on board, you'll be better for it. This is almost like a trading course just in itself. Enjoy. Okay, so let's go through some of these lessons from the true legends of the markets. Some of these were around before I was even born and the information, the advice they were giving back in the day are just as powerful as they were when they put them out all those years ago. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna go through them all. I'll put the quote on the screen um, and talk about uh, exactly what they're talking about. Here we go, we've got Martin Schwartz here. A lot of people get enmeshed in the markets that they lose their perspective. Working longer hours doesn't necessarily equate to working smarter. In fact, it's often the other way around. I always talk about this, we're bred to believe that the more hours you put into the working day, the more money you should be earning. Well, that's not the case when it comes to trading. Sometimes the less you put into the trading day, the smarter, the better you become. Very, very important. I talk about this all the time. Jesse Livermore, remember him? There's time to go long, there's time to go short, and there's time to go fishing. If the market isn't giving you the signals, if it's not giving you the signs, if your strategy isn't aligned, Go and do something else. The longer you spend there looking for something, the more chance you're going to do damage. Go fishing, do something else, get your bike out. Bernard Baruch, in trading, it's not about how much money you can make, but how much you do not lose. Basically, you should be controlling the risk, capital preservation, before you think about how much money you could be making. Certainly holds you in good stead if you want to be around for long periods of time. Jack Boogle. Time is your friend, impulse is your enemy. Be patient. Impulsive traders tend to be failures. Bill Lipschutz. If most traders would learn to sit on their hands 50% of the time, they would make a lot more money. There's a bit of a theme going on here with these market wizards, with these legends, yeah? Trade less, sit on your hands. If the market isn't giving you the signs, Go and do something else. I like that one, Bill. Thanks very much. I'll hear a bit of you later. Uh, Bruce Lee. I don't think Bruce Lee was a trader uh, as such, but I did uh, like this comment, uh, and I think it resonates with me, certainly as a trader over the years. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Master your strategy. Not thousands of strategies, master your strategy and be consistent to that. Thanks, Bruce. Richard Dennis, the key is consistency and discipline. No more needs to be said than that, does it? Almost anyone can make up a list of rules that are 80% as good as we taught. What they can't do is to give people the confidence and stick to those rules when things are going bad. Richard Dennis was the author of uh, that famous book, The Turtles, um, one of the main authors of that book. Teaches a great strategy, the turtles trading strategy, okay? But still, people can't follow it. Stick to the rules. We can't teach you to stick to the rules. That is within you. When times go bad, stick to the rules. That's when people lose and go off the rails. Jesse Livermore again. Price movement patterns are being repeated. They are recurring patterns that appear over and over. With, straight, with slight variations. This is because markets are driven by humans and humans never change. This is basically endorsing technical analysis. He was a big believer of technical analysis. Human behavior tends to want to repeat itself over time. Paul Tudor Jones. Looking a bit about my age there, so that's okay. Um, I'm always thinking about losing money as opposed to making money. Again, capital preservation. Don't focus on making money, focus on protecting what you have. Mark Douglas. Now, Mark Douglas, the late, great Mark Douglas, the author of numerous financial trading books, 
In fact, I think it's the best trading book I've ever read uh, called Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. A lot of his quotes that I'm going to talk about today uh, come from that book. Honestly, uh, this book, uh, I think it's a must read. I'm not affiliated to them or the author at all, um, but I do have it on my Kindle. I have a hard copy on my desk. I pretty much take it on holiday whenever I go away for some easy reading. It comes up with some great stuff. Learning to accept risk is a trading skill. The most important skill you'll ever learn, risk. Accepting risk, and accepting risk isn't meaning saying, yeah, I'm quite happy to lose 0.5%, accepting it, yeah? When you lose 5%, don't throw out the toys type of thing. You know, really generally accepting the risk in relation to the reward. Martin uh, Shorts again. Trading is a psychological game. Oh, there we go. Uh, most people think they are playing against the market, but the market doesn't care. You're really playing against yourself. Do I need to say more than that? It's all there. Market doesn't care about you. Jesse Livermore again. Patience is the key to success not speed. Time is a cunning speculator's best friend if he uses it right. Again, be patient. Paul Chode again, Paul Tudor Jones. Don't be a hero. Don't have an ego. Many traders have egos. You see them in the chat rooms. Leave the egos at the door. Always question yourself and your ability. Don't ever feel that you are good. The second you do, you're dead. Don't get overconfident because that will come back and bite you before you know it. Always respect what you're doing. Paul Trudy Jones again here. I always believe prices come first and the fundamentals come second. So this is someone that basically believes purely in the technicals. A lot of traders believe in fundamentals. Technical traders believe um, that all the fundamentals are basically uh, in the price already. Um, and trading technicals is a preferred approach. I tend to agree with them there. Mark Douglas again. 95% of traded errors you'll make will stem from your attitudes about being wrong. You can't handle being wrong. It's going to affect you more than you know. Losing money um, and missing out, leaving your money on the table. The four trading fears. Look at those four trading fears and take note. Jesse Livermore, not taking the loss. That's what does the damage to the pocket and the soul. Basically, I think he's saying, Use a stop and appreciate the stop. Don't move your stop. Take the loss. Cut your losses. Let the profits run. Mark Douglas. He's going to feature a few times. I predefine the risk on every trade. I completely accept the risk or um, I'm willing to let go of the trade. Okay, so set your risk. Take the trade. Set your profit targets. Set and forget. I act on my edges without reservation um, or hesitation. I pay myself as the market makes money available to me. I'm continuously monitoring the, my susceptibility for making errors. Journaling his trades. Take note of Mark Douglas there. Warren Buffett. Now, he is one of the most successful well-known traders uh, today. And I love this analogy that he puts in here with, uh, with, um, with baseball. He's a pitching there. In this game, the market can keep pitching. But you don't have to swing, yeah? Let it go, let it go. Yeah, you can stand there and bat. Um, you can stand there with the bat on your shoulder for six months until you get that pitch. Be patient. Only when your stars align should you make that trade. Ed Sakota, remember him? Setting your stop loss properly is most important of the job. Handling risk is key to longevity. Don't expect a steady paycheck from trading. Let the market be your guide. The market is always right. Cut your losses and ride your winners. Digest those, very important from Ed there. John Maynard Keynes, I was definitely born after him. Um, the stock market can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. I see people when they're talking about Market's going up. This has got to be the top. This has got to be the top. Oh, it's going to come back down. Normally short traders that have sold the market. It's got to be the top. Got to be the top. Well, they can be irrational. Maybe not worthy of being up there. They can be irrational longer than you can remain solvent. I love that one. Jack Swagger. Amateurs think about how much money they can make. Professionals think about how much money they can lose. Boom. There you go. Um, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein spent a lot of time saying things in his life, didn't he? He's quoted for saying everything. I don't know if he actually said this, but I believe he did. 
Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. Those that understand it, earn it. Those that don't, they pay it. Basically, if you've got a credit card, you're paying compound interest every month. You know what that's going to cost you. If you've got a bank or a trading strategy and you want to compound um, your gains over the course of uh, the months, that's how you grow an account. Certainly, if you're looking at um, prop funding as well. Bruce Kovner. I like this one. I know where I'm getting out before I get into a trade. He's setting his profit targets. He doesn't enter the trade until he knows where he's going to get out of the trade. That's a man that's in control. George Soros says, I'm only rich because I know when I'm wrong. Accepting when you're wrong. How important is that? I basically have survived by recognising my mistakes. Bit of an ego thing there as well, isn't it? Having an ego means you can't accept your mistakes. Accept it, move on, learn from them. And here's another one from another market legend. The trend is your friend until the bend at the end. Who said that? I'm a trend follower by day, but I appreciate that markets are not always trending. There will be a bend at the end of that trend at some point, And that's when it's time to maybe stop your trend following. Look, those are just a few of the uh, trading legends, market le wizards that I have followed over the years. There's countless books about these. And I think there's almost a trading course just in that alone. If you can take the advice of these legends, then you are going to be in a good place going forward in your trading. So there you go. Hopefully you found that useful. Here's a good chance now to maybe tell me some quotes that you've read over the years that resonate with you. Let me know in the comment section below. I say I read them all as well. Maybe we'll do another video uh, with those uh, in due course. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. If you didn't, it really does help with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't already do so. Uh, and of course, hit that bell notification and notifies us uh, when we release the next video. You can follow us on all the socials as per usual. Don't forget, we are sending out our weekly market report every Monday morning. Um, if you want to get yourself involved in that, just leave uh, your details in the description tab there. There's a place where you can register for that. Um, so you get that Monday morning. We are streaming live on a Monday afternoon uh, here on YouTube as well, which is great. You can see, also see it on the other socials as well. Uh, so make sure uh, you subscribe, as I said. Don't forget, we also are a prop firm here at the City Traders. If you can trade, we will fund you. And if you can't trade, we will educate you to get you funded. We've got no time limits on our assessments. We also have just one phase. You don't have to pass a phase and then go to another phase before you get funded. You pass one phase, we will fund you. So you show up fast way to trading a huge uh, account size, which is beans. You don't have to be knocking it out of the park on each and every trade. Small growth each and every month on a decent size account is your way to go. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'll see you next week. Have a good one.